Hi guys. So we're all super busy. We're looking after family members. We're looking after friends. Um, we're working. We're studying. We're trying to stay fit and healthy and also maintain some kind of social life. And with all these busy activities and juggling all these different balls in the air, it's really common for us to drop the ball on our finances, in particular our cash flow and savings goals. So this video that I've made for you are my top five tips and tricks as to how to stay in control and be as efficient as possible with your cash flow and savings. Tip number one, pay your bills as soon as they come in. So the moment you get home and open up your mail and you find, for example, a mobile phone bill, jump online and just pay it. That way you will save time and efficiency. You won't be thinking during the week or the month, oh, I've got to remember to pay that phone bill. You won't be incurring any late penalties or fees and it's over and done with, pay it and it's out of the way. And what money is left, you can then spend on other things. Two, use automatic savings plans. If you have a particular financial goal that you're working towards, for example, saving um, to buy a property, set up an automatic savings plan with your bank so that the moment you get paid a set amount of money comes out automatically without you having to do or think about anything and goes into a separate dedicated account. That way you have prioritized that goal over your spending habits and you don't again need to waste time and energy remembering that you've got to shift that. As well it also removes any temptation to spend that money because it's no longer in your account and therefore you can't spend it. Three. Try and have automatic direct debit payment plans for your bills. So instead of having bills sent to you in the mail, try and have them so that they come out of your savings account on a monthly basis. That way you don't have to physically stop and pay a bill, it's automatically paid for and again you don't need to worry about getting any payment fees or fines. And it saves so much more space in your memory of things you need to remember to do. I love that. Four. If you are bad with credit cards, simply don't use them. Pay for things in cash or on a direct debit or payway facility so that they come out of savings. Having credit card debt is toxic, obviously financially, but also energetically as well. If you are someone in debt, I guarantee that you constantly worry, get stressed about or anxious about the debt that you're in, whether you like to admit it or not. It is a complete waste of your resources. If you don't trust yourself with a card, you simply should not have one. And my fifth and final tip for cash flow and saving plan efficiency is check your accounts regularly as well as your budget. You should be checking your account for numerous reasons. One, to make sure that there's been no fraud or fraudulent transactions on your account. Then to make sure that you've got enough money to survive for the rest of the, the pay cycle, whether it be fortnightly or monthly. And then also to match against your budget so that you have any expenses coming up through that, that pay cycle or week or month, you know that you've got to account for them, budget them, and if it means maybe having a slightly tighter or quieter week in preparation for the larger expense, you're aware of that. You're in control and you're efficient with your cash flow. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope it's helped. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and you can also follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv and like us on Facebook. I'll see you next week for Lifestyle Love or Money Monday. Ciao!